What's up, boys? Today I'm checking out the third release of Arena on the PBE right now. If you want to try it for yourself, playing some Maokai since I'm pretty rusty. He is the Sapling, that might be kind of cool. But the Golden Spatula is very fun if I can pull that off, so I'm going to try that. I haven't played since the last time Arena was out, so I'm probably going to be pretty bad. I think I like the Guardian Shroud early on to get a bit of AP as well as a decent amount of HP. Feels like you need some a bit of damage early on so that you actually have a bit of kill pressure in the first few rounds. That guy didn't even buy an item for some reason. Oh, that Akali's going to have a lot of damage later on. I guess I'll just W over there. I'll try and stand on that so I can get all of them. There's not many bushes on this map for Maokai, so that's kind of annoying. I'll try and take that one. I guess I flash over here since he wins. Try and finish him. That one's about to be up. I can probably Q him off of it. W him out of range. And then there's a lot more teams, so you don't have to face the same ones over and over if they're annoying or you have a rough matchup. And you can also spectate a bunch of different ones, which is pretty cool. And then there's these passive stats you sometimes get now. Armor's decent. I actually don't mind going AP if I get some cool stuff for it. But honestly, let's take the gamble here. 150% for two different rolls sounds kind of cool. Uh, what do I want here? There's so many teams, it's kind of hard to choose your boots now. Um, looks like either one would be pretty decent. We're against Gragas, Pantheon, I think. I'll just grab some Merc Treads. There's probably enough CC. So I got Ability Haste, that's very good. And Ability Power and Attack... Oh, I got a Hybrid Attack Damage Ability Power. Plus a Haste, so that's pretty solid. Got some decent mage stats. So my damage should be decent now. Bait out some abilities. CC him a bit, steal the plants. Got all three so I can get some good spells off on them. Throw that. We should be grabbing the plants towards the top instead of fighting this guy, since Jax is very close to dying. That really hurts. Use my Q with a reset from that. Not bad. Got some decent takedowns for the spatula. I guess technically it would be better to let them revive and try and get some more that way, but oh well. I'm just solo queuing, so no coordination with my partner. What does Swain have? It's kind of hard to see the scoreboard, I guess. There's a lot of new items, damage from non-basic attack sources and percent magic resist. Honestly, cruelty sounds kind of cool. Bit of tank stats and whenever you immobilize summon a comet. I'm down to try that. 242 and it scales with magic and health. Very cool. So I could still go for like a hybrid health and magic build. We're against Wukong Swain. 60 ability haste, 300 item haste with a Prowler's Claw. That's going to be pretty nasty with a very low cooldown. I hate spawning up here as Maokai because you can't really get great value from your early saplings. Toss one over here to help work against flanks, I guess. Maybe try and go over here and steal some plants when they do that. I'll follow that up. Jax kind of needs to go for the plant up there. I'll move out of the range of that AoE. Jax is just dead. I probably can't do a whole lot here. 
I should have taken that plant, but we should have played that a bit slower. He could have easily taken the plant at the top instead of committing to an all-in there. How did the comet do? It's actually pretty solid. Almost 3k there. Might go for like a hybrid AP HP thing with Heart Steel into Rift Maker. That would be pretty cool with both AP and HP scaling on it. Crowd control rolls your crit to apply increased duration. That seems pretty crazy. So I have 3k here. What is Jax going? Full AD. Crit and attack speed kind of. I'll try the Heart Steel and then probably go Rift Maker so I can scale both parts of that. Go kind of tanky AP Bruiser. So Shabana, Ramus, Weapons and Steal Your Heart. He's got a souped up Titanic Hydra it looks like. The annoying map again, I can put a sapling over there at least. Jax needs to get the plants really badly. Toss one over there. I'll help him on Ramus, I guess. Try and get all my heart sealed stacks. I can toss a sapling over there and cue them. So my spatula must be getting pretty close to done. I hope. Kali's gonna be pretty insane. Reset your auto attack timer and 90% attack speed. And you reduce your cooldowns when you attack, Jesus. What is happening? So I have... I can't even see... Okay, you can look at the score screen on here if you press tab while in someone else's match. That's good to know. So I have six, so I need to get two full wins still. That's quite a ways away. I think that actually will work well with the hybrid build. It has health and AP on it. And ability haste and some really good tank sets. So we're against Janna. Holy Fire is extremely strong. Moonstone and Radiant is also a great combo. Briar is going to be completely invincible with a full support Janna there. But he's a pretty glass cannon. He does have a lot of armor. So we need to go on the Janna. I'll follow that up. Get a double Q and some heart steel procs. Get my heart steel, Q them off me for a bit. Try and kite. I think I'm just dead here. My Jax is really just jumping in and all inning until either he or they die. I guess you kind of have to on that map, but on the other ones you could definitely play it a bit slower and go for the plants. But with that map and only one of them in the center, you kind of have to anyways, I suppose. Restless is not bad. It scales with your max HP, and when you W onto people, you move a decent ways. Might be kind of cool. I do like having rerolls for the really cool items if you get those. I'll try it. 
So 2% HP plus some level scaling. We're against Quirky and Master Yi with a lot of on-hit stuff and a lot of true damage. That's going to be kind of nasty. And Quirky has the package. Probably want to try and avoid that if possible. I guess he's just going in and dying. I'll knock him out of that. Well, I guess Jax just wants to lose it then. I'll try and set this up so I can be safe and then I guess go for the res. I guess flash on him and do that. Knock him out of the meditate. I'm dead pretty much instantly, but Yi is pretty low. And Jax is pretty good against Yi as well. Man, I still don't have the spatula. Eight. Jeez, that is probably not going to work out very well for us then. So, passive stats here. Max roll on tenacity. Recon, Hecarim. Doesn't really work on Recon. Maybe his ultimate. Probably just grab the armor here. Feels like you get items a bit slower now. So they have Impassable, Perseverance, Die Another Day, that's Kindred Ult. I'll do that to get both of them. Get my heart steel stacks, get that in the brush, see if I can seal one of those. Nope. Got a kite because my Jax committed Sudoku again. That just pulled me so far away. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I can't really move against Rakan there. We are against Singed, Akali, a lot of damage on them with Mark's Mage, 15k damage already. So they're going to pretty much instantly blow up Jax, so I could get some more damage here to try and help out with that. Wonder what happens if you get the spatula with full items. Yep, he just instantly ran in for no real reason. Well, I can finish him and get some healing. Probably knock him out of that. Delay it a little bit. My ult's back up. Let's see, none of those are up. That one's about to come up. And Restless heals me a decent amount. I should probably flash on that. Probably throw that out to get the saplings on him. So I probably have Spatula finished, so I can just sell something to get it, that's nice. I don't think I care about any of these. Those would help keep him alive, but he's kind of just pseudo cooing anyways. I could try Banner. It's a pretty decent buff to him. 15%, so he'll do a lot more damage, have a little bit more survivability. I can sell that and grab my Spatula. We are against a buy, okay. And then that gives you a ton of stats, and I believe the on fire thing reduces your cooldowns while it's active. 
but I have six items now. Kali has insane damage, but is about to die. Rakan is pretty insane CC in this mode. He uses ult just to get out, but they were both pretty low there. Probably could have finished them. AP, magic resist. That's 180% out of 200. That's actually a pretty good roll. Try that. So that gave me armor and magic pen. And I got tenacity at some point. Wait, I think I got armor from a shard. So tenacity and magic pen, that's decent. So ideally we pull them into the brush down here and I get some saplings on them. So hopefully he doesn't just run direct. Well, what can you do? I'll toss that up to help him out a bit. Toss my banner of command. I guess get on this guy. We should kite out the Swain ult. Or just try and kill him, I guess. Okay, that works. Banner of command actually kind of saved him there. And gave him a lot of extra damage, so it kind of worked there. Do I want to sell boots and get something? We are against Hecarim or Khan. I could maybe go for some damage against them. What does Jax have? Probably not wordless then. Bloodletters wouldn't be bad. That would shred their resistances and does have some tank stats. I could try that. I might want something with HP for that, but oh well, kind of late to choose. I could grab some passive stats from that. Uh, probably some tenacity at a max roll. I'm close enough I can get some saplings in there, so that will be pretty nice. Maybe ult right as set is dying to get that. I can probably help him here. Pop banner of command right as he goes in. Looks like they're kiting it out, and Jax can't really stay on them. Let's see if I can steal that away. Finish off Hecarim. Try and get those out so that he can't ever get over there. There we go. I'm actually a pretty high damage build, kind of. Health is okay. That's pretty good. These are all decent. We're against Janna Briar. They're kind of just blasting jacks, so maybe I take this and try to chain CC a bit longer with that. I could grab some more passive stats here. A uh, bit of movement speed maybe to help me get on Janna. So Jax is playing very aggro, so I need to use my ultimate to engage pretty early on here. I'll just go ahead and do that, see what we get. That's on me, so I'm gonna pull it away from Jax, pop banner on him so he has more damage. I'm getting blasted, so I'm gonna kite away. Try and go for some plants. Jax is dead, so I guess we lose. Oh well. I could have saved my banner a bit longer there. Let's see, 49k, that's not too bad. I had kind of interesting hybrid-y HP damage build, building around the Comet thing I got early on. But I was pretty squishy there towards the end, especially with no boots. But kind of cool. Not too bad for my first game. What's up, boys? Back with some more Meowkai. Master of Duality would be funny, but I think Infernal Conduit's quite good on a CC tank who's hitting a lot. That will reduce my cooldowns a lot. I like the Guardian Shroud early on, bit of AP, a lot of health, some haste. We're against Aura Lion, Soul, and Quinn. 
Draw your sword melee. That's kind of funny. Come on, come on. Does her E take her into attack range so she can melee you? Jeweled Gauntlet. That guy's going to hurt later on. I'm just going to take that out, get my damage off with my little sapling. I can grab a little bit of healing here. Knock him out of the breath. I thought Malzahar was going to take that last one. Oh well. I'll just hit whoever I can here. Wait for my cooldowns. I'll knock them off of that and probably go for this. And then we can do a sapling there, go to the other one. Kill that guy. I think there's a sapling over there, but there is one now. And he's dead. Let's see what other people are up to. That's a big scar. That was really close. A Nivea egg lasts so long out there. So Infernal Conduit, probably Tenacity or Omnivamp. We are up against Lee Sen, Lissandra. Let's see who else is there. There's not a huge amount of crowd control, but I do still want to be hitting very often and that's a very high roll, 15.2 out of 16. So let's grab some Merc Treads also. Getting the cooldown on that will be good to go with Infernal Conduits. Probably want a lead Andres later to get an extra burn effect to go with that. These guys have Mad Scientists and Wooglets. I'm just going to stack up on them. Keep my stacks going, wait on my cooldowns here. I'm dead. I should have played that a bit slower, I guess. I was hoping I could finish Lee Sin with the burn from Conduit there, but it's still pretty weak right now. I was also trying to keep the stacks up so I'd have really low cooldowns. Yep, Aurelian is going to hurt late game. Already getting some decent stacks with some kills there. That doesn't have a burn anymore since it's a new effect. That actually sounds kind of cool. Extra Dragon Souls and then permanent stats to almost everything. Actually, any of these could be good, but I think I want to try that thing. Tons of percentage stats later on, although I guess it doesn't do anything currently. Well, it gives 5% and then it'll scale up later on. And some of the souls are pretty nice. Ocean would be a lot of healing. Hextech is great. So we're against Bane with Scope and Rel. That's a bit strange on Rel. Don't think you'll get a ton of value there. I'm just gonna jump on him since he's almost dead and has a lot of thoughts on him. Keep my burn up on Rel there so my cooldowns are lower. Do that, chain it into the root. 
try and keep my burn stacks up. Pretty low value, but we scale in. Oh yeah, I still haven't seen if his where his E takes you. Wasn't paying attention to it in our fight. Not sure about that melee Quinn right now. So 3k. I probably want heart steel to get some more scaling and to get really tanky. But I definitely want Leandries later. If I go Heart Steel, I can also go Sunfire for another burn effect for some decent HP scaling. Get the cooldowns on these lower. We are against Anivia, Eureka, and Senna. Senna is probably gonna shred me. Well, that guy is dead. I don't think I can do much here. Grab that and take the portal. I can W to him, knock him away, go in the portal. Probably won't do much. I can't W to him. So I think I get a soul now. Hopefully something good because I don't know how much time we have left. Oh man, I couldn't even get a single stack on there, rip. I guess I should have played that a bit more aggressively, but I mean, they also would have shredded me there. And now, more from our but I guess I would have taken more than two hits, whereas he died in like two. So let's grab the Leandries. That'll give me an extra burn to go with Infernal Conduits. I got Chemtech, which probably isn't great. We're against Skarner Rakan. They are very low damage. Rakan has a bit with cruelty, but overall they are quite low. Skarn is full tank. So if we can play it slow and I can get Infernal Conduit going, that should be pretty good. Try and peel him off. That was actually not a great direction to do that. Just try and keep my Infernal Conduit stacking. I don't want to be CC'd by Rakan. I can probably finish him with my double burns. And then I can go for the earlier res. Oh, I forgot about Lux. Oops. I'll take... I guess all of them since he's leaving. I can probably keep him off of Rakan for a while. That was a bad knockback, but he's still in the dot area at least. Now I can keep him off of Malzahar. Keep my Infernal Conduit sacking, knock him out. He's unstoppable. I'll flash back in because this is going to be a bit close. Knock him out. And he should be dead to my dots now. I probably didn't have to flash there, but it was going to be close at the end. Accelerating is pretty good. 
That actually does synergize well with Conduit since that's a flat reduction. 0.08 for every burn. I might run out of mana, but this sounds funny. Orbital actually could work also, but I'm gonna try this. Super fast casting, Ezreal, back to basics, Fiora, Earthquake. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Let's see, Malzahar is Spellwake, Chain Lightning. That's interesting, with his percent damage on one person, his ult can kind of melt the other person as well. Ezreal got Quantum Computing. Hate this map. I will go ahead and do that, get some stacks on Ezreal. Get all of that. I should probably run, kind of dying here. Malzahar is probably dead. Can't do anything currently, I'll toss that over there. I can try to grab this thing, but looks like we lose here. Ezreal smashes me 1v1. And I couldn't really help Malzahar much there. Need some more survivability, I think, so I can ramp my burns up. These are really bad. That's okay, but it's minimum roll. Let's see what else we've got. I can ramp my haste up already, so I'm gonna grab some tankiness, I think. So I don't die so fast. We're against Udir, Camille. I should be stacking my accelerating a bit at the start, actually. So I can do that to get it going. The guy is unstoppable. Let's toss that. Knock him away. And Chain Lightning plus Mouth Heart. Bolt just destroyed that guy. Udyr used his CC immune kind of early as well. Like I just waited it out and then killed him instantly. I've got Mountain which is okay. I think Ocean and Hextech are probably the best ones here though. But the item does give pretty good stats now at 15% to a bunch of different stuff. We are against Lissandra Lee Sin. There's a lot of auto attackers, so Frozen Heart should be quite good here, I think. Is there anything else I want more than that? Knight's Vow would actually be pretty solid. But probably Frozen Heart. Spellwake, Earthwake. Man, these guys are woke. Try and get some saplings set up. I can do a lot of damage to that guy and get some plants. Take that and try to finish this guy if I can. Why did Lux damage me there, Wat? I can knock him into that. I can revive him and then he just walked into Lux. I think I want any of these. Quantum would be okay. We're against Ezreal Fiora. 
these would both be okay, but they're not really exciting. Courage is very good. True Shot actually wouldn't be terrible. That would probably trigger Infernal Conduit as well, but I think Courage is probably too good to pass up. Giant Slayer, Mystic... Oh god, Mystic Punch, Ezreal, Jesus. And we got the annoying map again, with zero rush. Well, he's flashing in, guess I'm going. I'll try and knock that guy back. Well, we got one of them. Can I run at this guy? I guess not. If we can stay alive, then the saplings will do some damage to him. Just don't let him get a ton of free damage here. Armor is pretty good. Lee Sin, Lissandra. Omnivamp would probably be good with all the burns, but I'm thinking armor here probably. Ultimate Revolution, Double Freeze, that's pretty annoying. Jeweled Gauntlet, that guy's gonna have some huge burst. He also has a, an Edge of Night. I'm gonna send that that way to probably root the Lissandra at the same time. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try and peel off this guy here. Try and keep a ton of stacks, hit that guy. Go for the hit on that, keep my burn stacked up. He's dead. I probably should have gone for Lee Sin, but it's kind of late now. I'm just gonna... I guess keep CCing him. I guess I'm gonna go for that CC. Oh, that's a really bad W. But my Courage will keep me alive here. I'm gonna keep Lee Sin off of him, I think. I'm gonna block the kicks, keep AoEing them down, stack my burns. I should have very low cooldowns now, hit that, chain it into a W. Ult was back up, but not quite in time. I can get one thing here. Let's go for a prismatic thingy, since I have a lot of money. Could be cool. Increased heal and shield power could work. Probably too late for that thing, since I think you need to get it early on. Dealing damage shreds armor and magic resists. More of a damage item though with magic pen, no real tank stats. Let's see what else there is. Um, probably not. Almost out of time. I guess I'm gonna grab that for a bit of damage. Oh, I guess I had plenty of time since we have a buy. Let's see, Ezreal, Fiora is pretty strong. Fiora has her old ult back. Ezreal isn't landing many Qs right now, so his damage is pretty low. And Lee Sin just kicked his brother in the ass. So Lissandra Lee, 10% AP. I already have Mountain Soul. I wonder what would happen if I take that. Probably nothing good. Blue buff is not bad. A bit more ability haste. Although I guess I do have accelerating. I think I'm gonna try and stay on Lee Sin and block his Qs. Try and keep my burn stacked, I think. Courage can probably keep me alive.
Well, it looks pretty good now. We just need to stay alive and keep him out of there. I'll just block his Qs and keep CCing him. And there we go, our first place, yay! Meow Kai! And I got promoted to bronze, yay! So the chain lightning on Maus was pretty cool with his percent damage pool, allowing him to hit the other person with it as well. Spell wake, pretty nice, true shot. Some really big damage. I had a lot of cooldown, Infernal Conduit giving a flat reduction, Accelerating Sorcery giving a percent reduction, got some nice survivability to outlast them and then revive him. Not too bad there, although they could have gotten a lot of magic resist a lot of magic resistance, excuse me, against our team, but they didn't do that, just some Merc Treads it seems like. But that's going to be it for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.